Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World for episode 5 of Dalton Valley Farm. So it's the first day of summer and I am just checking out our lucerne field. It is growing nicely and isn't it lovely. It's got these purple flowers on top now. Um, let's give it a quick check, shall we? It's 50% grown, however, we've got a problem. 7% soil moisture, that is not good. Uh, we could start having crop failure if we don't get some rain pretty soon. And that's happening all across the farm. Every one of our fields is uh, suffering from low moisture at the moment. Now, I have another problem. <clears throat> so, it's the first day of summer. We know that we uh, cut this grass on the last day of spring. So, effectively... It's been, what, a month since this grass was cut, and it's still grass. It has not changed to hay. And unfortunately, I made a drastic mistake, and I'm going to have to correct that today. In my desire to be efficient in my farming operation, when I mowed this grass, I mowed it into windrows, and that has stopped it from turning into hay. I did some testing on this, and yes, it's the windrows that have caused the grass to not become hay. So when the store opens in another hour or so, I'm going to have to go correct that. Now, something else that I've been looking at, um, well, let's take a look at our finances menu, and we can see that in the spring... We made about $77,000 on contracts, which is pretty darn good. Contracts in the summer are running a little... No, actually, they picked up. When I checked them just a little bit ago, they weren't doing too well. But right now, there's some good ones sitting out there. So money can flow from those too. And I should get my worker out there on field 13. I'm going to go ahead and accept that contract just to... Uh, make sure that I have it and can get a worker out on field 13 fertilizing that bringing in more money but I was actually coming over here for a reason um, <laughs> I think we're doing okay money wise I think um, I was playing it a little too safe and so I think we're gonna go ahead and get our sheep now I said I wanted to do the dorpers the uh, the meat meat sheep and I'm curious, so if I move a hundred sheep, that's going to be in fees $10,000 just to move them over. I think that's correct. Yep, that's correct. And that's about what it would cost if I leased a trailer and a truck and move them over myself so I think realistically um, it's probably worth it just to have them delivered so I am gonna go ahead and add a hundred dorper sheep to our farm and look at that we have sheep in our pasture now another reason that I decided to go ahead and do that was because we've got a nice growth of grass here I didn't think about mowing this when we were mowing the other day um, but the grass is in great shape so they will have plenty to eat even if my hay doesn't come in right away so no problem there we're gonna get our water trough filled up and let's take a look at our sheep here in our our menu uh, water's coming up. Food will adjust itself based on the grass in the pasture here. They're going to need 96,916 liters per year. So we've got the lucerne that we're going to be harvesting. That will provide hay. We've got the grass over in the other field that I'm going to need to ted. I'm actually going to go ted that, spread it back out so that it will dry properly. They now have plenty of water, so we are sheep farming. Now let's uh, get this gate closed up so they don't go wandering about. 
We don't need our sheep wandering all over Scotland. And let's have a handy look at our goats and see how they're doing. They look fabulous. And I didn't look at them in the menu, so let's take a look at that right now. Water, well, we'll fill our water up. Food is still okay for right now. I'm not going to worry about that too much. We have no goat milk yet, but we know why. Um, we're waiting for them to give birth. And how many are pregnant now? We got one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like 11 of our 20 female goats. So we're doing good in the goat department. We are going to have a nice, nice birthing season when the goats finally start popping out their babies. And we'll start getting some of that goat milk that's going to earn us a good, good chunk of money. Now we're still waiting for the store to open. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy over to field 13 where's field 13 oh gosh it was the, <laughs> that weird field that's hard to get into okay we need to go around here and come back and, yep got it and you can see the Scottish countryside looks lovely in the summertime now something that I did discover in uh, doing contracts, I've, I've just been doing as many contracts as I can to keep the money flowing in. And there is a broken contract on this map. So if you decide to play Dalton Valley Farm, right now there's a transporting contract from the horse stables. And every time I've tried to do it, by the time I got there, and I mean it's within five minutes of game time, by the time I got there, the contract had completely disappeared. It wasn't failed, it wasn't incomplete, it wasn't anything, it just disappeared like it never existed. So keep that in mind if you choose to play. Once I get this guy working on field 13, we're gonna look at spending a little bit more money because I think I'm gonna add another field. Maybe two. We're gonna start pushing it to the limit a little bit seasons um you know i've heard this before and i'm i know i've experienced it before even though i've only got some limited time on seasons but you know you start running out of things to do on seasons while you're waiting for crops to come in to harvest things like that we've got our animals to take care of now we've got grass to uh, to manage but having a, a couple more fields is uh, gonna gonna increase our challenge just a little bit especially once it comes time to harvest so we're gonna look at land choices here in just a minute although as soon as that shop opens I really want to grab that tether and get to work on that grass so it can dry as quickly as possible this should be the way into field 13 This was that really funky field that uh, we were trying to seed and the worker kept getting hung up because of the, yeah, that little odd shaped butt. We'll call it a butt. <laughs> okay, we got seed and fertilized, course generation. Uh, let's do one headland pass, that's plenty generate the field course let's take a look at that and see what oh I gotta pick a field there we go no let's do two headland passes I don't like the way it expects him to hook inside of that ah, let's give that a shot what the heck Okay, so I'm going to hang with him for just a minute, and we're going to take a look at our land possibilities here. So as you know, when you want to buy land, you go to your map, you click on lands, or hit the X button, 
and it will let you select plots. Now, I do have enough money for field 19. It's the biggest field, but that's going to cut us really thin. I mean, we'll be down to about 20 grand at that point. What I was thinking about, though, was this field 45, which is 56, or field 5, <clears throat> which is 77,000. Um, field 45 is seven and a half acres field five is almost ten and a half i was also looking at field 18 here i was thinking about 45 and 18 that's going to give us a total of seven four eleven almost 12 additional acres yeah i think i'm going to go with that i'm going to go with 45 and 18 but first i want to see what's in those fields so 18 looks like it has barley and 45 has more lucerne in it and god knows we can use the hay so let's do that let's buy 45 and buy 18. all right we are expanding our land holdings outstanding and it looks like um our little course play worker is handling this without too much trouble so I'm going to jump back over to the fence. We're going to head to the store and grab a tether. So when I've got that, you don't need to watch another trek down to the store, do you? I doubt it. So I'm going to go grab that tether and I will see you back here. Alright, time to go to work on this grass. We're going to drop this down. And just spread it back out again. That's all we can do. Now, in the vanilla game, you would almost think that it's turning to hay there, but it's definitely not. It's still grass. We know that Seasons has its own unique textures. Let's see if I can get that to spread just a little bit more. Probably end up going over it a couple of times. Hey, no big deal, you know? We're learning. We're learning about Seasons. A lot of people have been playing this for a long time. And I'm happy for you. Happy you've had that opportunity. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not even being cynical. I'm just being a smart aleck. But, you know, I am so used to just trying to cut grass into windrows so that I can uh, do with it what I need to that I didn't even think about the possibility that making a grass windrow would, would screw up what I was trying to accomplish. Now the one thing that, um, one problem that might arise from this, and, and there's no way for me to know at this point, is that, you know, if you leave grass out in seasons, it will dissipate, it will disappear. If you leave it out for too long, even grass bales, if you leave them sitting outside, they will disappear on you. And so I don't know if I've lost a lot of volume on this now or what that situation might be. Have no idea. But this should correct the problem. This this will take care of it. I'm I'm reasonably sure now normally if you cut grass the way you're supposed to cut grass, I guess, and not put it into windrows, then you would not need to tet it unless it was too wet. So there's different stages of grass. You've got grass, and then you've got wet grass, and then you've got hay. If it's just regular grass, you just leave it on the field, which is what I was trying to do. Just leave it on the field, and no problem the sun will dry it out and turn it to hay but if it rains the grass gets wet or if it's too wet when you cut it then it's considered wet grass and that's when you have to ted for seasons normally but when you try to be smart and mow your grass into windrows 
then you have to do extra work, spend extra money, and go back and ted it to fix the problem that you were trying to avoid in the first place. And the only problem that I was trying to avoid in the first place was windrowing. You know, if I can mow the grass into the windrows, then I don't have to rent a windrower to come back in and take care of that. But alas, it was not to be. So, with that said, I think this is going to take a bit of time. So why don't you just sit back and enjoy the time lapse that's coming up right now. Tether. We will just send that right back to the shop. I always do that. I always hit the regular menu when I really want the store menu. We'll return that. Yeah, it wasn't terribly expensive. And better check on our sheep again. I want to clean up the goat pen. So let's take care of that. But now if we look at our sheep pasture. Yeah, see they've got almost 13,000 liters of food so they are good for food and water our goats are messy eaters though which is strange for goats you know one of those things that you learn about goats when you're a kid goats will eat anything but apparently not cleanly or neatly they're going to dump grass out of their food trough and make you come by and clean up after them like teenagers no offense to teenagers. <laughs> the old farts are chuckling and the teenagers right now are going, Oh yeah, well the heck with you, buddy. <laughs> oh, you know how it is. You know how it is. Well, if I thought the goats were messy eaters, look at the sheep. I just cleaned up that spot. I just cleaned up that spot, and you're going to make a mess of it already. Which is interesting because, um, you know, there wasn't a sheep within about 15 yards, so apparently they can spit their food out from great distances. There.
Okay, so I don't know if you all noticed while I was taking care of that grass, um, but I did complete the contract for fertilizing and picked up another one, and unfortunately, it's going to end up being manual. I can't get course play to function on that field. It will not do what I'd like it to do. But I do want to look at our calendar. Just make sure that, yeah, we've got good drying potential for the rest of the day. And hopefully tomorrow, late in the day, we're going to get some rain because we really, really need it. So let's get down. I left the fertilizer spreader right here. So bear with me. I'm going to knock this field out real quick. Assuming I can back up. Which um, is never guaranteed. There we go. This isn't a very big field, it won't take but a minute. Oh, there we go. All right. Collect that. And we are going to grab a bailing contract. Oh, but it's a silage bailing. No, no, um, hmm, man, that's going to take a long time. Maybe I'll do that later. I guess I'm not doing that. I need to get my own fields fertilized now anyway. So let me pick up. I'm right here by the store. Let me fill this thing up with fertilizer. I should probably get some repairs going on it too. It looks a little beat up at this point. Looks very beat up. We have used it a lot. I mean, this has been our... Uh, our workhorse bringing in all of our money for now what's the repairs gonna cost on this oh two dollars and another five dollars for the tractor boy it looks a lot worse than that doesn't it all right let's get some fertilizer Harv, you got to delete some of these. That's all there is to it. You have got, got to get rid of some of those mods. Another weird thing is uh, with this McCormick tractor... I don't know what's happening here. I'm sure it's a model issue, but you see where this trailer is attaching way up there on the rear window? I'm pretty sure that went rear window would just shatter if it were pulling the weight of this trailer. So, yeah, I don't quite understand. And I'll actually, sh once it's done filling, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So if I drop this trailer, move forward. You can see it looks looks like the hitch is right where it's supposed to be. Right there dead center. If I attach it, that hip, that hitch jumps all the way up to the window. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Definitely it's either in the mod for this fertilizer spreader, but more likely it's in the mod for the McCormick tractor. It's something just isn't working and playing well together. But I don't care. I like them both, and they're doing the job I need them to do. So, now one thing that you might have noticed when I got this uh, fertilizer spreader repaired, it's in great working order. There's no problems there, but it still looks like crap. Well, that's part of seasons. So, as your equipment takes wear and tear, it's going to lose paint, it's going to look worn, it's going to look beat up. And 
you know, in the in the vanilla game, you do repairs on that piece of equipment, and lo and behold, it is suddenly completely restored. Well, that's not the way it is in Seasons. In Seasons, if you want your equipment to look all shiny and brand new again, you have to have it painted. And painting is extremely expensive. So we're not going to be uh, painting any tools anytime soon. Oops. That's what I wanted. No. Okay. 18 generates no problem. And I'm going to check the settings. Just because I want to be sure. Worker pay is active. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's drive the course. And then while he's doing that, we are going to examine our fields one more time. So, yeah, he's putting the final coat of fertilizer on there. Field 45 is going to get its very first coat of fertilizer. I wonder if I can put a coat of fertilizer on and then put lime on and put a second coat of fertilizer over the top of the lime. That's what I'm going to try to do. And I should probably, well, I'll wait till the hay is harvested and then get fertilizer back on field 26. Assuming I can fertilize field 26, but it's got a fertilized state to it already. But normally if you don't plant a grass field, if it's just natural growing grass, you don't fertilize it, but maybe that's different in seasons too. These are all questions that we need to answer. So I've got that lime spreader that has, you know, umpteen bajillion <laughs> um, liters of lime in it. So I'm definitely going to... Uh, going to be working with that but I'm going to fertilize first okay I think that's going to do it here for our new field 18 and we're not that far from uh, field <laughs> we're not that far if you don't okay why why am I wasting my breath I was about to say if you don't crash this is me you're talking about here Crashing is what I do probably better than anything else. You can see on our right, this is our big field of canola coming up nicely, but we got to get some rain. And then there's our nice big sheep pasture over there, our sheep wandering around, eating to their heart's content, waiting to be turned into mutton. That may not be their goal in life, but unfortunately, it is their destiny. That doesn't mean we can't, uh, can't make their lives as comfortable as possible along the way, though. So let's take a look here. Field 45. Do two headland passes. Generate the course. Oh, uh, yep. That's going to be pretty easy. Back drive is that grab the fence let's see if I can wrap this lime spreader around a pole again God knows I was getting good at that the other day okay we're gonna take this over to 18. See? See what I'm talking about? All I have to do is just swing around like so. There we go. Oh, we got it this time. Anyway, I'm going to run this over to field 18, see if it will accept lime. Because I know in vanilla, you can lime at any time. 
like even after your field is planted and I'm just racing right past field 18 um, even after your field is planted as long as you put it on before the crop state becomes harvestable that's one way to get in there yes okay good so we are going to be able to get lime on this Okay, there we go. That wasn't too painful. This, however, might be. Yep, that was painful. Ouchie. You know, on a summer afternoon like this, why aren't these people at the beach? There is a beautiful beach here in Dalton Valley. You would think people would be taking advantage of that. Okay, well, so my plan worked as intended. The lime changed the... There we go. The lime did change that field state, and it did allow us to get another coat of fertilizer on. So our fields are caught up now. We'll just have to wait for Lucerne to reach its next growth state. We should be able to get a final application of fertilizer on at that point and I'm just gonna run these back to the farm because we don't need them out here for anything else at this point and I'm still debating because we still have another 70 grand I probably ought to not push my luck spent quite a bit of money today none of it on equipment all of it on animals and lands so we've got the two new fields i think that's going to keep us pretty busy we've got our sheep those are going to keep us busy our goats are going to keep us busy in fact i can see right now that sheep pen is already a mess again and i just took care of it so with that said, I'm going to keep taking care of these animals. I'm going to get them cleaned up so that uh, they can produce and make us money in the future. Fatten them up and send them off to the butcher. But I do appreciate you coming along for the ride. That's going to do it for this episode of Dalton Valley Farm. And until next time, y'all take care.